Okay, today on a bench we have an antenna. Um, I got this one as a test. Um, I did purchase this, so it was not supplied by anybody. Uh, a lot of the locals uh, around here, GMRS has become extremely popular. Um, and a lot of people don't have a lot of money, so honestly, they can only afford one antenna. Or they're limited um, for base station use. They're either you know, in a trailer or they're, they're in a house that they've rent or an apartment complex or something where they can't put up a tower and they can't put up a proper outside base station antenna. And most of those guys, honestly, a lot of them, they're using walkie-talkies. They're just using HTs. So they're stuck <laughs> using rubber ducks. And honestly, the rubber ducks that come with radios like this, they're usually only like that, you know, about that long to start with. They're little dull band antennas. And uh, performance is, how shall we say, eh. <laughs> it's not that great. Now, around here, at least geographically, how I'm located, I can hit repeaters 20 plus miles away from me on 4 watts crystal clear. <laughs> you know, it's just I'm in ideal position here, top of a hill, so I got really good elevation, um, and the repeaters around me have really good towers. But still, um, for people that can't put up an external antenna, I think I've found the perfect solution for you. Now, there's lots of things you can do. You can make your own antennas. You can make a wire antenna. You can make a J-pole. Um, you can buy a J-pole. <laughs> there's people out there that will make you a you know custom-made tune specifically to your frequency, whatever, you know, or center of band for you for GMRS. And they work fine, too. But some people would like to be able to use a nice an antenna, something like this. So, I saw this one, um, and it was advertised as a no-ground-plane antenna. Base-loaded, no-ground-plane. So, as you can see, we have no-ground-plane here. <laughs> now, the antenna is a Larid LA... Let me get the bag here. I still have it here. So, you can see the company's name, L-A-I-R-D. And this is the antenna's information. So, this is kind of a business band um, antenna. It covers from 450 to 470 megahertz. It is a 5 dB gain antenna, and it's a 5 8 wave over a 5 8 wave. 5 8 down here, 5 8 up at the top. Okay? Um, and it comes with a basically a tuning chart down here. As uh, for tuning this, even it does come with an instruction sheet, you know, for your frequency range, approximate lengths, and whatnot. But actually, all the info you need is right here on the bag, pretty much. Um, it comes at its longest length out of the bag. So when I first hooked this up, I had a one-to-one -one SWR at 450 megahertz because this bottom from the bottom of this to the tip of the this shaft was, uh, I guess, what, 13.38 inches. Um, I ended up cutting off to tune this thing for 462, uh, 467.67 because uh, most people are trying to get into a repeater. And GMRS, you receive on 462 megahertz, but you're transmitting into the repeaters on 467 megahertz. So that's where we really want it tuned. We want it tuned on the frequency we're actually transmitting on. So I did end up cutting off this much, two little pieces. I always um, trim a little piece off at a time because it's really hard to you know kind of put the metal back on once you've hacksawed it off. <laughs> so I always trim a little bit, try it. Okay, SWR has come down a little bit more, trim off a little bit more. But that's all I had to remove was these two little pieces right here, two tries. But and that would equate approximately. Hmm, yeah, that's about how much I got off down there. If you do the math there. <laughs> what I've what I've got taken off down there on the bench, total length, would come out to somewhere in between here, because that's where we'd be on transmit frequency in 467 megahertz. But um, so I tuned it with it sitting on the floor. Okay, so it was about four feet away from anything where I had it sitting on the floor, and I tuned it for uh, where I had a perfect SWR of one one-to-one -one SWR sitting on the floor. So I've now moved it up here to the bench, okay? SWRs are going to be a little bit different because 
we're surrounded by stuff fairly close by all over the place and just moving an antenna even around you know on this bench top I'm sure I can get the SWR to probably change by you know 0.1 or 0.05 you know just by moving it around on this bench top but just to demonstrate I've got the radio down here okay set to 462.65 but you'll see when I transmit oh nope wait a minute four six seven headed on the wrong frequency six five zero okay so now we're at four sixty seven dot no not six five seven four six seven six five zero now yeah, that's more like it and I have the SWR meter right there attached okay I don't know how that's showing up in the camera try and turn it around a little bit here Oh, this coax cable's not going to cooperate with me, is it? I'm trying to get it straight so there's no glare. So this meter shows forward power up here at the top, reflected power here, and SWR is down here at the bottom right. So this is the coax cable that goes to, and this is also a Larid base. So if you want to see what the actual entire antenna looks like, I'll take it off. This is what you actually get in the bag. You get the antenna, okay, up to the little little tip here. Okay, it's about 33 inches as it comes out of the bag. Um, it is O-ring sealed, has good gold, you know, spring-loaded contact in the middle there. And this is also a layered base. Now, whatever, now this is an NMO mount, and so you'd need to buy some form of mount, either a, you know, a through-hole mount or a mag mount or something to actually mount the antenna to. Because that part number right there is just for the antenna. That does not include the base. So, antenna sitting on a bench around all kinds of reflective materials. You'd expect the SWRs to be through the roof, especially with no ground plane. Um, I've got this radio set to high power. As, again, we're at 467.650. Key the radio, look back at the meter. 1.07, 1.08 is the SWR. Fantastic! <laughs> So that, in my opinion, that's the perfect compromise antenna. Um, if you can only have one, because apparently, I don't, I've never done this, but apparently some people, they will take their antenna off of their car and take it in the house and use it. So I don't know if they take the whole base off or if they just take unscrew the, the antenna off of it. But, hey, this would be a perfect one for using because you wouldn't even need to stick this on a metal filing cabinet or anything. This antenna is currently sitting on a wood bench top, okay? That's wood under there. It's not steel. There is no ground plane at all. You know, basically the ground plane, if anything, is might be getting a little bit of ground plane effect from the mag mount base, but that's it. So that's, I think that's a, man, what more could you ask for? <laughs> a 5 8 over 5 8 wave antenna, 5 dB gain, absolutely no ground plane, tuned perfectly and like I say I went from, I had a one-to-one -one with the antenna sitting out on the floor and it only increased by what 0 0.07 for SWR by moving it up here to the bench I think that's fantastic so if you're looking for an antenna if you're one of those guys that's restri extremely restricted on uh, antenna installations uh, for GMRS I think this one would probably be a good one for you to try out they're around 28 to 38 dollars depending who you buy them from um, it'll be usually on the higher side if they include free shipping if you get one of the ones that cost 28 dollars well then you're just going to get charged shipping they usually have shipping charges but somewhere in that realm <laughs> now if you have a local antenna supplier um, like a you know a local communications company that does uh, business band communications, you might check with them and see if they carry and use the Larid antennas. If you can get one from them, you might be able to get it cheaper, you know, if you can pick something up locally. But, um, yeah, I think this is the perfect antenna for somebody looking for cramped spaces. Um, that's the model number right there, B4505C as in Charlie. And it's a L-A-I-R-D is the company. So I think that's a... A good compromise, if you can only have one, 
Um, you can use this in your house, sitting on your floor. You could stick this thing up in your attic. You know, put it anywhere. You don't have to worry about clamping it down to a piece of sheet metal. And if need be, you can just either take the whole thing out or just unscrew that. And if you have another NMO mount of some sort on your vehicle, and you can just unscrew the antenna and transfer it out to your car, use it there. When you get back at the end of the day, unscrew it off, take it in the house with you, and there's your base station antenna. Um, I've already tried it out on a couple of the local repeaters, and works just fine. Um, I can actually key up repeaters with this that I can't key up with this antenna because this is you know just a rubber. Now this is a good end. You know this is a good antenna. This is a diamond antenna's antenna. Um, but yeah, I can I can hit repeaters with this sitting here on the bench that I can't sitting here at the exact same place using this rubber duck. So yeah, it's got works really well. And uh, like I say, flat SWR. And actually, let's just see what the range is. Um, let's try. Well, let's go down to 462. We'll actually get down to the GMRS receive frequency. So we'll just punch in like 462. Uh, we'll do the same thing. We'll just drop 5 megahertz, 650. So that's the repeater offset for GMRS would be plus 5 megahertz. So we tried transmitting at 467, 650. We had basically almost a perfect SWR. We're now at 462.650. And... 1.23, 1.24. Still, man, that's almost that's that's so close to being perfect. It's not even funny. <laughs> so there you go. That's that's a good antenna. And actually, you could fiddle around if you knew you were going to be uh, transmitting. If you're not going to be trying to hit repeaters, or if maybe you're only occasionally going to be hitting repeaters, what you might do is because um, you can see it only increased by a, not even quite 0.2. Uh, SWR for a 5 megahertz drop in frequency. So honestly, what you might try doing is, is uh, and it's probably what I could have done too, I could have actually tuned this like center in between that. So pick your lowest frequency or your the, the frequency you use the most and then add 2.5 megahertz to that. That'll put you in between the GMRS receive frequencies and the GMRS uh, repeater input frequencies and shoot you'd probably have a 1.1 from one end of the spectrum to the other then it would be perfect in the middle and no higher than about 1.1 on either end at the 462 like in this case 462.65 and 467.65 so any case just a quick video Laird antenna thought I'd get one of these to try out just to let some of the locals around here know that are kind of struggling with antenna restrictions Hey man, here's a perfect. Uh, now it's not cheap. It's not one of these cheap Chinese antennas. You know, it's a it's a good quality antenna. Um, Laird makes. They're mainly commercial stuff. That's what they make. They don't make CB antennas. They they mainly make, you know, dual band um, business type antennas. Uh, a lot of them are perfectly suitable um, and fall in the frequency range for like you know amateur band two meter seventy centimeter. Um, they make tri-band antennas, they make 800 megahertz and higher, so cellular antennas. That seems to be kind of what they do. They're kind of like in the cellular world, but they do make a lot of these other antennas. But yeah, for a new ground plane antenna, that's impressive. <laughs> Sitting on a workbench, surrounded by all kinds of crap, and I can get an almost perfect SWR. Hey, thumbs up to Laird for that. So, um, I what I'll do is, I'm not going to leave a link to any... Uh, supplier specifically because uh, like I said I don't know where you, you might buy yours at but what I will do is is I'll leave a link to Larid's website if you want to look up the technical specs for this antenna that way you can have a link and actually see you know read their technical data on it but there you go the Larid B4505 Charlie